In this video, we will create these indicators for when the objects are not visible inside the camera view. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So in here, I have made a simple scene where I have this player object that has this simple circle sprite and also I have attached this rigid body 2D and this simple movement script. And here I have made the main camera a child of this player so it follows the player position and this ground object which follows the camera. So now let's add some enemies to our game. Let's drag and drop this inside of the scene here. Also we will increase the size to 1.5 and 1.5. Cool. And let's change the color to I think orange. And also rename this to enemy. Now let's go ahead and hit play. So if we move our player away from the enemy, we no longer know or see where our player went. So if the enemies were to spawn outside the camera view, we wouldn't know the direction from where they are coming. And for that we need to add some indicators to see which direction our enemy is coming from. So yeah, let's exit the play mode. And we need to add a script to our enemy that will take care of all that. So let's hit add component and let's name this indicator script. Hit create and add. And I have made a simple drawing here to show how we gonna go about making this script. So here is the enemy and our player. The enemy will shoot away from its position to the position of the player. And here around the camera boundary we will add a collider. So when the enemy shoots the ray and it collides with the boundary of the camera at this point of collision then we will place the indicator which is this yellow point right here. So yeah that's basically how we are gonna do that. Let's open up the indicator script now. In here the first thing we need is the indicator. So public game object and let's name this indicator. And also the target which will be the player. So game object let's call it target. And also a renderer let's call it rd that we will use to check if the enemy is outside the camera view. And in the start method we will get this renderer component. So rd is equal to get component and renderer. And now inside the uptime method we will check if the game object is not visible to the camera. As it says here. So rd dot is visible is equal to false. And if that's the case we will check if the indicator is not already active. So let's type in indicator dot active cells is equal to false. And if it is, we will set this to true first. So let's type in indicator dot set active and set this true. So let's type in true here. All right. Now down here, we will make a raycast hit 2D and we will call this ray. And let's set this equal to physics 2D dot raycast and it takes in an origin which will be the transform dot position and we also need to give it a direction so let's make a vector 2 up here for the direction vector 2 let's call it direction and this will be equal to the difference between the position of our player and the enemy so target dot transform dot position minus the transform dot position which will give us this direction here. So let's put the direction here. Now we need to check if our ray has collided with something. So ray dot collider is not equal to null. And if it's not equal to null, meaning that it has hit something, we will set the position of our indicator to that certain point of collision. So let's type in indicator dot transform dot position and set this equal to ray dot point which as it says here is the point of collision in world space 
and here we will put an else condition so when the enemy is in the camera view we just disable the indicator so let's just copy and paste this if condition here copy it and paste it down here and we will just check if it is true and if it is we will set this to false yes so i think that's all we need to do here so let's go back into unity let's wait for the script to load and we need to give it an indicator but we haven't yet created one so let's go ahead and create it now and we will also use the circle to make the indicator as well let's change the color to uh, i think red something like this okay and and let's also rename this to pointer and we will make it a little smaller so 0.5 and 0.5 and now we will make this a child of the enemy game object and reset the position to 0, 0. And just disable this pointer for now. And assign this pointer to this slot here. So let's drag and drop this. And also let's assign the player as the target of the enemy. Awesome. So now let's make a boundary for our camera. So click on camera, create empty. So let's rename this to, I think, gamebox. You can name it whatever you want. And now we will add a edge collider 2D to it. Let's adjust the size of the edge collider to fit the boundary of the camera. So let me just do it real quick here. Alright, so now that it's done, let's also make another layer for this collider here. Select the game box, go to layer now, and add layer. Now we will name this layer as game box layer. And now let's assign this game box script to our game box. Awesome, so now let's go to our uh, project settings. And here go to physics 2d and here in the layer collision matrix we will uncheck the default layer and game box so this one because we don't want this layer to collide with the default one and now we can just test it out i think so if we move the player away from the enemy and lose sight of it the indicator will show us the direction in which the enemy is and when it becomes visible again the indicator disappears and yeah we can add more enemies to our scene here Let's just duplicate some of the enemies and place them around the scene. Think here, let's just hit play now. Awesome, so our indicator is showing the direction of our enemies. You can apply this to many other games and in many other ways. And if you have any questions regarding this, leave them down in the comment section. Also, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, it'll be a great help. And until next time, see ya.